<laughs> All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here at the Freedom Pond, and what we have in this box right here is a tripod. It's a carbon fiber tripod. Let me go with the backstory here. Uh, started getting into the DMR stuff, was looking at some big guns, uh, and wanted a tripod that I could shoot off of. Now, a lot of people will go out who have the money and they will purchase these uh, really right stuff, tripods. Shoot, those things are 1200 bucks with the little head. Not something that I can afford because, well, I'm not sponsored or anything else like that. So, uh, of course, we jump on Amazon, and I found the uh, RT90 from Interrail. Now, that's a company. They're out of uh, China. Uh, they make a good carbon fiber uh, tripod. Now, this tripod cost, at the time, was like $297. Now, I didn't realize how popular that Interrail uh, tripod was until we went down to the Sniper's Unknown, and I would say that almost 50% of the guys down there shooting were either shooting with that or a Leo photo. Well, anyway, uh, some of the guys over there at uh, Interrail saw the video and they said, hey man, can we send you another tripod to take a look at? And I said, sure. I actually have the RT80 with the 52 millimeter ball head that you saw the other day, but this is a really cool setup. And I'll tell you what, I was very impressed with it. I've actually pulled it out uh, and handed this off to uh, the x ring channel for him to use uh, while he was down at the uh, Sniper's Unknown. And uh, in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. And what I did was, uh, I used to be into photography. This is a 5D Mark II. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can do with this. This is a really nice, and as a matter of fact, I used to do uh, basically all man Frodo stuff. But uh, this, I think, is like for $178. I'm going to put the link down below specifically for this thing. I know that uh, the guys from Interrail are running a special for uh, Black Friday. So maybe hold off on that. You get a really nice carrying case. It's got a handle as well as a shoulder strap right here. The weight of this particular bipod... The weight of this tripod is uh, not bad, not bad at all. But one of the things that I was very much interested in was the fact that uh, this guy could carry, uh, well, let's just say I was able to shoot off of this with the Arca Swiss Rail. Now, in the front pocket, you're gonna have a Arca Swiss Rail uh, plate, and you also are gonna have the Allen wrenches plus the spiked feet. Now, a lot of times what we'll do is we won't run the spike feet unless you're in soft dirt, gravel, things like that. Uh, if you're running off a hard surface, and I'm talking basically running a gun, we're going to be using the rubber feet. Now, open this bad boy up. This is 10 layered uh, carbon fiber, and basically this is what you get right here. Uh, this is what it's collapsed up to be, and I would say that's about 20 inches right there. I mean, it's a really, really nice deal here. Um, also, the one thing that I do like, and I'm not going to look off. I got the description over there written down, but I'm just going to tell you guys what I like about this thing. All right, so first of all, let's talk about this. I do like these little things right here. These are the release levers, and you have to press them down to go to different levels. So you got that level and that level. So you can actually go all the way out with this guy, just like that. And it will sit basically flat. You've got a center mass section right here. You can bring that down. And the cool thing about this for the price, now, uh, and again, guys, to buy something equivalent to this in a uh, US market, you're gonna spend a lot of money. But uh, one of the things I do love about this, somebody's getting a bunch of deer uh, here. This is the 44 millimeter uh, ball head turret head. This thing is smooth as a baby's rear end. Uh, well, again, we got the Arca Swiss rail. I'll go ahead and put my camera up here just like this, and I can tighten this up. Now, later on down the road, what we're gonna do is a review on a uh, different type of Arca Swiss uh, QD type lever mounts that are not really right stuff. But as you can see, you can tighten this thing up. You do have a beautiful fluid. It feels like a fluid head movement all the way around like that. You can tighten that up so there's absolutely no movement in it. And that bad boy will just sit where it needs to be. So anyway, uh, I love the turret head. That's one of the reasons why if I could actually invest in about three or four more of these, I probably would. Now, you can do things like 
uh, suspend it. If you're running macro shots or anything else, you guys have seen this before. You can actually turn it upside down. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Where you've got your turret like this. Um, and I know that you have to take this part off to turn it around. I'm not gonna get all involved in that right now. But I will tell you this, uh, for what you're getting in the money, check out that link down below. This thing is actually really, really nice. Now, another thing that I like, you've got this neoprene uh, insulation right here. Right now, we're about 50 degrees. And uh, I'm getting ready to go do some shooting here in a minute. But as you can see, uh, the neoprene right here is a really nice uh, add-on to where you can hold this without having to touch either metal or the carbon fiber. All this is CNC, it's anodized. Uh, I haven't, I can't tell you anything bad about this guy. Now let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up back here and I'm gonna show you that you can open up these legs all the way down, the twist locks right here. Just like that. Make sure that these are tightened up all the way. You get a little rattling otherwise. But if you're shooting a wedding uh, with a camera, shooting children with a camera, you've got it just like that. We can go ahead and put it in here just like this. And I can take, hold on one second, let's turn it on. And we can take some photos. There we go. That's just nice. But anyway, you can lower this down just like that, up. And you can take this whole section. Where is it? Doo -doo -doo. This is why you got to make sure these are tightened up 100%. And the bottom foot is not tight or it will make a racket. But you can go ahead and loosen this up right here. You can take the center mass section off here and turn this into a monopod. I'm not much of a monopod type of person. But I'm getting like in here. But in any case, in case you needed you could use it for that. Uh, if you needed to, you can go ahead and we could collapse it midway like this. And then you could spread these legs out. I could put a leg up here just like that, if I'm shooting something on the table. Anyway, y'all get the gist of it. But anyway, check this out. Uh, there's gonna be a link down below. Uh, this is the Interrail uh, RT75C. And I'll be honest with you, uh, this is almost as stable as the RT80. I'm just gonna do a comparison between those two in the future. We'll go ahead and replace this with a QD uh, quick release. And uh, I'm going to shoot everything from a uh, just 5.56. Five, five, well, we are still working on the ARC. And we'll run the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor off of this thing. Probably do that next week. Well, anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, I noticed a little bit off topic with the guys that may be into uh, uh, photography. But I think it's 170 bucks, something like that, with the turret head uh, on it. Comes with a nice carrying case and all the different feet. Anyway, with that being said, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I am out of here. Time to go shoot some pistols. Y'all be good.